not another commercial. The kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was trained and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I love kids jumping what? on my lap. saw there was a meme Donald Trump shared on his Twitter account just a few hours ago, and it's gone absolutely viral. It's got millions and millions and millions of views. And the reason I'm sharing it isn't because I support Donald Trump or agree with Donald Trump's vision for America. If anything, I'm 100% opposed to it. The reason I'm sharing this is because it's exposing what Bernie Sanders supporters warned would be exposed about Biden if he became the nominee. His cognitive decline, his dementia, his long, awkward, rambling stories, and the fact that Barack Obama might endorse this man, but it doesn't really matter or cover up those realities. This is what we've been talking about. Joe Biden, even if you put his neoliberal ideology aside, his insistence that insurance should be tied to employment aside, all of his bad and incomplete ideas aside, the man isn't even effective as a neoliberal politician right now. And that's the thing. You could say we want a neoliberal, but there were lots of neoliberals in the Democratic primary that could finish a sentence, that could go on the media and not need cue cards to answer routine questions. And we said time and time again that even in 2019, but especially in the last few weeks, every time Joe Biden does media, there's a very strong chance that he's going to have one of these moments. And what a lot of us on the left worried about, both on Biden's personal issues and on his ideology was that you're putting a candidate forward who is likely to lose to Donald Trump as these weaknesses become more and more seen by the general voting public. The polling for Biden looks good now, but these videos aren't going anywhere. They're not going to stop. This is going to be the line of attack from Trump on Biden and from the Trump campaign on Biden. And this really is what's going to allow Trump to win. As more and more people see it, the polling will tighten. It just will. And in close swing states, I worry for Biden's ability to win. So this has never been about supporting Donald Trump. A lot of neoliberals, a lot of centrist Democrats feel that any criticism, however honest or good faith about Joe Biden, is simply a tool to reelect Trump. Couldn't be further from the truth. This is a call. Something that we said back when the primary was still on, that if you nominate this man, there are going to be lots of issues that are easily exploitable about him that there weren't about anyone else in the race. Even if you leave Bernie aside, Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, Pete Buttigieg, they all have their flaws, of course, but you couldn't make this sort of argument about them. You couldn't say that they didn't have the intellectual wherewithal to do the job. You couldn't make that argument. Again, Donald Trump has similar issues. Many people have noted Joe Biden's cognitive decline in dementia. A lot of people have said the same thing about Donald Trump. But Trump, for whatever reason, has the sort of confidence to just talk through it. And beyond that, again, Democratic voters are more likely to acknowledge flaws in their candidates. The people who would consider voting Democrat are more likely to see these sorts of things and get turned off, whereas with Republicans, they just seem to buy in no matter what. So Trump and Biden, both being unable to effectively communicate a good chunk of the time, really only hurts Biden. It only hurts the party where the supposed value of civility and eloquence matters. Whereas with Trump, he can get away with almost anything, and so it's not an equal playing field. So a lot of people who said, well, Trump is barely eloquent sometimes. Trump's clearly going through dementia. So I guess we can roll the same dice with Biden. It was never, ever going to work. And this meme also reflects a looming reality in this campaign. This is likely not made by the Trump team itself. This is likely something made by a Trump supporter. And it shows what a lot of us have been worried about, that Biden is going to lose the Internet hard, 
real hard because in this campaign in particular, where traditional door to door rally campaigning isn't an option, at least it won't be for the next couple of months, if not until the election itself. The internet, your ability to use digital spaces is that much more important. And one thing Trump has, love him or hate him, I hate him, uh, is millions and millions and millions of dedicated, passionate online supporters who will make these memes, who will go on 4chan and Reddit, and who will spend hours and hours of their day producing content to help Donald Trump. And they'll do it almost certainly for free. I don't know if Biden has that enthusiasm. And I've been critical of Bill Maher on this show. But one thing Bill Maher noted a few weeks ago when he was starting to talk about Bernie Sanders and how he could be a good candidate was that Trump has this online army, millions of young people that are willing to do whatever it takes on the internet to help Donald Trump. And he worried that any other Democrat except Bernie Sanders wouldn't have the same level of online militancy to back him up. Because you know, there are tons of meme groups for Bernie. There are tons of Facebook groups for Bernie. There's a large subreddit for Bernie like there is for Donald Trump. There's lots of independent creators here on YouTube, myself included, who are producing content nearly daily on Bernie Sanders. He would have the tools to go toe-to-toe with Trump on the internet and Biden doesn't. And these sort of memes, which expose Biden's weaknesses, but also demonstrate the online imbalance are a troubling sign of things to come. This is what we warned you about. We warned you about Biden's internet weakness. We warned you about his cognitive decline. We warned you about the enthusiasm gap. And I do fear that unless something changes, that Joe Biden is going to fall back in the polls bit by bit And on election day, he will be in real danger of losing. I'm not guaranteeing a Joe Biden loss. I've never made a guarantee in this campaign. I'm I'm not about to do that. Elections are too complicated this far out to make any sort of guarantee. But I do not think that this five point, six point aggregate lead we're seeing from Biden is going to be reflected on election day. It's going to be a lot closer than that. And the reason it's going to be closer is because when the chips were down, the Democratic Party picked a man like Biden with cognitive decline and dementia, all because they didn't want to run with the man who backed Medicare for all and a Green New Deal.